Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. So as you can see, my characters are in fairly terrible condition. So, I do believe it's time to rest up at the quote-unquote inn. I'm not going to show this every time, 99% of the time I'll be cutting out all of this crud in the world of Ruin. I just figured I'd give you some taste of uh, what I'm actually doing off camera, so. So yeah, just go to sleep here. This is by far the easiest spot. There is definitely no comparison. Because anywhere else I'd have to walk some distance into a town. There we go. Alright, so let's get back in my airship. I can take the blindfold off for the moment, so that I can actually see where I'm going on the airship. Alright, so first stop is the Phoenix Cave. And obviously, I'm not going into the Phoenix Cave, that would be suicide. But, I can at least remove the characters from my party so that I can go get Gao. Otherwise, there's no real way to do it without getting another character first, and I don't see any reason to do that. All the way to the left, up left, hop on the thing, Mabob. Alright, so I'm back on the airship again, so take the blindfold off again while I go inside and go chat with the other party members so that I can actually change team here. Alright, so let's grab my lowest leveled team. Uh, I'm not going to be taking Savin with me to Mount Zozo, which is, uh, lo and behold, my first destination because that's where everyone voted for. The reason is, Savin is not as tanky as Celeste, and I really want a tank here. And honestly, I prefer armor tanks much more than uh, HP tanks, and Savin doesn't even have a lot of HP right now, so... I'm bringing Celeste. And also there's the fact that Savin's uh, equipping Stray, and Gao is also equipping Stray, so that would just be awkward and wouldn't work at all. So, this is my team. Plus Gao, because I need to get him still. And again, I'll cut out 99% of the time whenever I'm doing crud with Gao, but I figure the first time I get him back, I should at least show it once. So, throw the blindfold on real quick. Well, it's impossible for me to tell where I left my cursor because this was like months ago. Well, not months ago, month ago. There we go. I'm just gonna reset for the moment. Simply because I know that uh, all my cursors are still messed up from before. Probably should have done this before the segment, but. This is the first time it actually matters. Alright. So now we're back in business. Walk down. Walk up. Alright, you two just mash A. Hopefully I'm against cre weak, cruddy enemy tier. Though the fact that the, the first... That thing didn't die from Celeste worries me a little bit, but... Bio Blaster will hopefully wipe junk. I don't hear a lot of wiping happening. I don't... yeah, I definitely... Oh, it's on the right side. Okay, so let's see. Scale gonna show up? Yeah, uh, no he didn't. Unfortunately. Let's just keep going, plow through. Oh, right, I reset. Sit down. Go back up. Go down. Hopefully Gal will pop up fairly reasonably. And I won't get stuck in a pickle. 
Well, that's an attack. Well, I'm not in the easy street here, apparently, so... That kinda sucks. Also, Edgar must be dead or something, because... I'm not hearing a lot of Edgar action right now. Wow. Whatever this is, it's a tank. Why did Edgar jump? Also, I missed both times. That sucks. Hopefully I don't just kill it and then have Edgar land on Gao. Maybe Edgar got berserked or something. Because I honestly have no clue what's going on. It, there's so many encounters on the belt, it's basically impossible to ascertain anything about the particular encounter that I'm fighting. Hopefully Setzer kills it this time. Holy cow. Did he just use red card? Well, that's one way to take it out. And I still don't have any, uh... I know I'm fairly close to dead after whatever that was. What was it, a Gigantos? Is that e that's not even possible. I... Maybe it was a dragon. That could make sense. Still don't know what happened to Edgar, but... So yeah, let's fly back to the old man's house. I guess I didn't need to make a point of doing this at the start of this segment, because I'm going to have to do it once right now. Who knows, maybe I'll have to do it even more times if I get that unlucky. Why am I not going in there? Apparently, I'm just a little bit off of being able to actually land. This is being more of a pain than anticipated. In the test run, it was like, Oh, hey, wild rats, you killed them. Good work. Now get gal. Woohoo. <laughs> so yeah, dragon encounter wouldn't work so nicely if I wasn't so much higher leveled right now. Hold down, right two, hold down, and leave the place. Back in my airship. Take the blindfold off so that I can see. Oh darn, that's not the place where I'm supposed to land. That's my usual Velt landing spot. Like, a long time ago, I kept getting annoyed because I kept losing my airship on the belt and wa having to wander around searching for it. So I went, always went back to that particular search of land to make to land my airship to make sure that it was always in the same spot. Okay, please be a little bit nicer. Hopefully, I'm out of the floating continent enemies or whatever shenanigans that's about. Oh right. Well, whatever that was died immediately, so that works for me. Set mine, that doesn't work for me quite as much. Hopefully that just finishes off everything. Okay, do I hear a menu noise? Dang it. And someone got set mine too, which isn't great. I don't know what condition they're in, I'll just keep plowing through for the moment. Hopefully nothing too terrible happens. All I have to do is hold A at this point. Yeah, I'm starting to think Setzer might have died. Not even sure what I'm fighting. Yeah, I think I'm in really not too great condition again. That was fast. Oh, 
Alright, I don't think there's anything on the field, so... No, there is still something left. Come on, Celeste, just murder it. I'm gonna need to go back to the inn again, apparently. Oh, someone was asleep. Never mind. That explains the lack of uh, commands. I was like, how'd they die so quick? Must've been Dreamland or whatever. Okay, I'm starting to think that was Gao. All right. There we go. I have my Gao back, finally. Should be less of an ordeal in the future. Let's just get back to the airship. There we go. All right, so I'll call the mini-sode here. Obviously, there will be a little bit more contained in this segment. I'll probably do a bunch of shopping and rage grinding, but I'll do that off camera, so don't need to worry about that. Well, you may be wondering why I came to this random patch of land. Uh, well, basically, I'm farming ran rages right now, so I need to walk around here a bunch to try and hopefully get the tumbleweed rage and the harpy rage and the troll rage here. I might have another chance to get the troll rage later, though, so if I don't get it here, it might not be too big a deal. This should take at least two battles here, though. So, um... Set player one noise means it's someone who's not Celeste. Okay, this appears to be Gao. Just gonna choose Albatross. It's okay here. So this is Celeste. She's set up to be a Harpy Slayer right now. Maybe I should have showed my equipment at the start, but... This is, uh... Whoever the last person is sets her. So I want him to use slots. And... Edgar can use his Noise Blaster. It's probably the best opening. In case it's Harpy plus Trolls, in which case Noise Blaster is fairly effective. Oh, something died. Okay, this is Tumbleweeds. So let's wait, let it get back to Edgar's turn for the moment. Oh, that's the second one dead. More fireball, yay. Yeah, it gets taken a while to come back up. Huh? Oh wait, did he have a turn I didn't notice? Oh wait, that was the last slot that I had to select. No wonder things weren't happening. Dang it, Setzer. Wow, that's a lot of fire. Okay, this is Celeste. And this is Agar, so I just want to tab over to the auto crossbow here. Life shaver's kind of nasty, but I'm just going to have to deal with it. Lots of fireball, at least. I'd even killed one. So yeah, this must be close to ending. Hopefully Celeste can take out this last enemy. That'll probably do it. Okay, so, that's uh, one rage that I can check off my list. Hey, I can actually tell when I hit the wall right now, thanks to the poison, and I know my airship is right here. So let's just take off for the moment. I'm glad I got the tumbleweeds before getting the harpy, because tumbleweeds uh, are the easier encounter, in my opinion, so... So yeah, let's just uh, go to the inn right now. I'm starting to think I really didn't need to make a point of showing an inn visit because... Yeah, I'm having to do it like 8 million times anyway. Yeah, 
I keep forgetting that I have dash on Brave New World. It's kind of a handy thing to know about. Alright, so take this off. Let's go back, right back to where I was before. Alright, left. Right, oh wait, maybe I should save. Did I do that already? If I do die, I'll just cut it off and then restart from my uh, silly save point thing there, so... If I die, it's not too big a hassle right now. Now I'm looking for Harpy and Troll, that's for sure. Uh... Okay, this must be Gao. Um... Wait a second. Who's this, then? I don't get it. Okay, there's a Harpy, good. Now, if I can stop messing up, I could probably capitalize on that. Good, this is Edgar, so Noise Blaster. And Celeste, just keep murdering it. Okay, there's some trolls here too. I'm all done here if I can actually win this fight, which is not looking good, actually. That'll help, at least. Well, the Harpy's dead, that at least uh, makes a huge difference. And Edgar actually managed to Noise Blaster, so that helps too. Yeah, it's kind of weird hearing that, anyway. Yeah, I'm starting to think everyone else is dead. It's just down to Edgar and Celeste now. Okay, Gao. <laughs> Gao's still there, apparently. I think one of them might have been smacked by Gao earlier. That's still on the left side, so they only hurt themselves. There we go. All back on Confuse again. Just gonna keep holding the A button. Hope everything works out. Something's dead. There we go. That nicely wrapped up. That could have been a lot worse, considering how bad I was messing up with my commands there, but. Alright, so reach the far wall, mash the button to get on the airship again, and now I can take the blindfold off. Just something I want to double check first off. Okay. Yeah, so Sensor <laughs> and uh, Celeste are pretty dead right now. Obviously, you can't have, like, measurements of deadness. You're either dead or you're not dead, but. Of course, with Final Fantasy, it is kind of debatable, at least. So yeah, let's... So the first part went okay, actually. That's probably the most dangerous bit, to be honest. So now I'll just take a sleep here. If, uh... I'm not being an idiot. So yes, that's three rages out of the way, and I now have uh, three more to go, because I've got peepers that I can get, and I can also go snag the sprinter, the Mentodia, oh wait, Allosaur as well, it says four. So I'm almost halfway there. And in all honesty, uh, 
definitely the harder half to boot. So yeah, before I land the airship, I want to... whoops, where am I going? I just want to shove something else on Celeste. I want to shove the Ice Brand on Celeste, because it hits a weakness here. For whatever minor help that's worth. Config still. Okay, what? What happened there? Oh wait, but I I went to a quiver. Dang it! This is taking longer than it should. I probably messed with her equipment somehow. No, I pa I actually didn't. Let's just drop this, the cursor on save already, while I can see. For realsies this time. Hopefully I get a sprinter in this fight. If I do, that's this part out of the way. Provided I, like, don't die, because that's kind of important sometimes. It's left. Right. Left. Right. If I hear arrow, that kind of sucks for one, because it's kind of painful, but for two, I know I've got it. So I'm just gonna... Albatross probably isn't the best thing at all anymore, but whatever, I'm too lazy to figure it out. You just attack, and you... Yeah, I must have put you on magic somehow. That explains what was going wrong earlier. And let's just whip out this auto crossbow here. That should hopefully keep me alive for a while. That was nice because I don't just set him to go and he's done. I don't have to mess with him any longer. That's one enemy dead. That's right. What are these tumbleweeds? I thought there had to be sprinters, I mean Mantodias in every single fight here. Whatever. It's unfortunate that Legomorph does not reheal poison like in vanilla, because that's pretty dang handy in situations like this one. So I don't think I made any progress there at all. Which is a real shame. Especially since I thought I had to... ...actually get a Mantodia every single battle there. I don't like the fact that I can get Tumbleweeds there, but now that I've already gotten them. Sorry that I hadn't got to go back to the inn every single time that I do a fight, but there isn't really any better option right now. Cause I'm not, cause these uh, overworld encounters are definitely not chumps. All the way down to right, all the way down. Hopefully I'll pick up another the Sprinter and the Mantodia this time around. If I do, uh, the next two are definitely shoe ins I think. Unless there's a rare encounter that can throw me off, but hopefully that's not the case. Alright, so let's just roll the dice and hope that it gives me the right thing. 
I guess sets is all about rolling the dice, so I don't think he's got any complaints with that. I think I'm just gonna hold day here. I think that's a Mantodia. I think that's also a Mantodia. That's me. <laughs> but no sprinters confirmed. This is probably a double Mantodia battle then. Dang it, and here I thought I might be able to get away without an invisit here. You know what, whatever. I'm saving after every fight anyway, let's just take the risk. Even with Arrow, which can probably murder my face, whatever. Well, that's one enemy dead. Okay, I hear Mantodius and I hear... After two enemies have died, so I think there had to be a sprinter there. I'm just gonna chance it for the moment. I'll look back at the footage, of course, to check whether that actually went down properly. It's impossible to tell otherwise. I can't tell in passing like this, so... Alright, so how am I doing? Uh, I'm still doing okay. Let's just keep on going. So the next, uh, next rage I'm aiming for is the Allosaurus, and I'm pretty sure those show up every single time. Actually, you know what? Might as well just heal with Celeste. Not all my healing has to be done in, in the inn, after all. Especially when I'm uh, just healing HP and not using a Phoenix Stamp on anyone. Because that doesn't even cost any money. Did I go in the airship by mistake? That's stupid. Alright. Left two. Well, battle in the first couple steps. Oh yeah, I forgot, I was gonna do some jiggery-pokery with Celeste, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Best case scenario is that Allosaurus is the only thing here. Because that Ice 3 is gonna do a buttload of damage to an Allosaurus. If there's two Allosauruses, I can just continue with that, but if there's some trolls around trolling... An Allosaurus can still take that, however. Dang it. Disaster's not very nice. At least Gao doesn't seem to be affected by it. Maybe the only one to raise, that's a bummer. Hopefully that didn't hit Celeste. This can't be a back attack, can it? Because I've got a back guard equipped. At least I don't need to think about Setsu's move anyway. There does not appear to be any trolls in this fight, otherwise I would have heard something a little bit more poignant.
Whatever's happening. I wish it would happen a little bit faster. Hopefully that didn't hit Setzer. Not sure what that was. I guess it must have been Edgar. Because he's the only one that's... Because Gao's already raging, so... At least I know I got some solid damage. Wow, it feels like this should have gone a little faster than this. But I guess I've been getting disastered at the wazoo. Which is annoying as I'll get out, but... At least that might help keep me alive. I'm not really sure what state I'm in at all, so <laughs> it's hard to tell. And Raze does a lot of damage, so... I don't know how much. Rats. I don't need any more disaster, thanks. Must be two Allosauruses, I guess. And I'm not hearing Edgar, so he must have been put to sleep. I'm not sure if it would be better if Setzer used an attack at this point, which he just did. There we go. That battle's over. So I believe that's the last meaningful fight. Alright, so back on the airship. I don't even need to heal for this one because it's our old friend the Peepers. These guys obviously are complete scrubs, so no worries here. Wait, I already saved, so no need to do that. The poison sounds are actually nice, because they can tell me how many times I move. Alright, now I just need to wait. Oh no, Seth is at low HP, what will I ever do? They died in the time it took me to have safe and shell applied. And that's it for my rage gathering. If I could uh, actually save it, thanks. Dang it, I'm on the airship. Land. There we go. Rage gathering complete. Took 20 minutes, so... Actually took a not an insubstantial amount of time. But I think I've gotten all the rages... That... I could possibly have at this point. I don't think there's anything else I could go get without going into a forbidden area, so... See you next time. Oh yeah, right. I haven't grabbed Fenrir yet. That's probably important. So let's just go do that real quick. That obviously won't take very long. I've just got to walk onto the beach and grab it, but... It's one of those completionist things that I should probably do on camera rather than off, so... Let's just take a minute now to do that. Yeah, I tried to speed up leaving a little bit. Yeah, that's all that entailed anyway. Well, you know, I thought this would be done and over with two minisodes ago, but apparently not. I still got some more junk to take care of right now. Uh, whoops. Not that sort of junk, I'm not getting into a random encounter, thanks. Item, skills, equip. I just wanted to show you my setup. Edgar's the only person who matters here, because he's my quote-unquote chosen one to go get the Omega weapon. The thing is, uh, the Atma weapon's one of the few straight upgrades in the Coliseum in this game, and it's honestly one of the few trades I actually make at all in Brave New World. I generally prefer to just keep the old stuff rather than bet it away and then not have a chance to get it back. So yeah, I've got this set up to be really easy, so I just need to do that. Edgar shouldn't have any real problem with Siegfried here. His defense is too high and Siegfried's only magical attack is shockwave, so it's like, okay, whatever. 
Oh, right, nice. He got Bio Blaster off right off the bat. That saves a bit of time because Siegfried can be inflicted with poison. But yeah, Edgar's defense is pretty high. He's got the Life Bell, and he's just an all-out tank for this fight anyway. He also, if I tried to use someone like Celeste, they might run out of MP, but Edgar's probably going to inflict him with both uh, Poison and Seizure here, so... Even if he've... and he's also got uh, sources of magical damage that don't run out, unlike Celeste. And I don't think Setzer can use his slots in here, so... Really, it's either Edgar or Sabin, and I think it's a fairly easy choice. Even if Sabin is four levels higher, he still doesn't compare to Edgar most of the time, in my opinion, at least for Colosseum battles. You do that, Edgar. That's not gonna help anyway. There's not a lot of stuff that uses Vanish in this hack, so Siegfried's kind of on his own that way. That's his most dangerous attack right there, the slicey thing. Or maybe it's Shockwave for Edgar, I'm not 100% sure. The only downside is that Edgar is really, really slow. But as long as the poison's doing damage during this time, it's not going to be too bad. And Edgar may even use heals on himself every now and then, and again. Or maybe even heal himself with the blood sword at some point. So that helps out as well. Oh yeah, I guess I could have technically used Gao for this fight, but seriously, who uses Gao in the Colosseum when you can't select a rage? And for physical tanking for that matter. One hit and Gao would be dead. Wow, he's using his powerful attacks a lot this time around. It's actually starting to get me a little bit worried. Especially since Edgar's done absolutely nothing in the last eight years. Thank goodness he poisoned him right away or this would be taking forever. Nice. Well, at least I can't... At least I can say that Edgar fought his own battle there. Because <laughs> he's the one who's obviously going to be using the Omega weapon in the near future. Skills, item, save. Now can this episode finally be over, thanks. <laughs>